Well, so what is an array? Before going to the Python specific implementation of array, let us try to understand the concept. So array is basically a very common concept in all different programming language. So array means some kind of identifier that can store many data items under the same name basically. So that's what an array is. So how can, what does that mean? Just you can assume this following scenario in the bottom. Let us assume there are several persons like this standing in a row. You have two different options to identify them. The first one is you need to identify them by name. Let's say this is Alice, this is Bob, this is Charles, this is uh, Dennis, someone like this. But if the row is really long, is it very convenient way? No, because you need to remember lots of names. Even another realistic scenario, in a row of multiple unknown persons, can you identify them with their personal name? No, it is not possible. So in that case, you have to identify each of the person to do your work like this. You can call the first person in the array like this one as person zero. Then the next person you can identify as person one. The next one is person two or person three, something like this. So this is exactly the concept of array in the context of program. Here actually, person is just like a variable name. So here I have shown two different examples with array one and array two. So just like this person, I have used the variable name called array one or array two for another array. And now in order to access each of the person in the row or in our programming context, access each of the data items stored every, uh, in this array, what you can do is just like person then zero, you can identify them with an index. So the element at array one index zero is five. Then the element at array one at index one is nine. So element at array two index two, that is M. Element at array two index three, that is N, something like this. And normally, in all the programming language, it is expressed like this. First, the variable name and then followed by this opening and closing box bracket. And inside this box bracket, you have to write down the index. So here, array one zero means the index zero of array one. And the element that we stored there is five just like here. Then the next element that is array one at two. So here two means indexes always starts calculating from zero. So two means this is zero, this is one and this is two as you can see in here. So array one two is 22 as you can see in here. The same way the array 2 index 0 like this, it is just A and also this array 2 index 3, well again start counting from 0. So this is 0, this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3. So array 2, the element at index 3 is basically n here. 
so this is how you can store the data item first you have to use one single variable name like array1 array2 or person like this and then utilizing an index like 0 1 2 3 like this way you have to access each of the data items stored in them so that is the concept of generalized version of array now let us try to see some python specific implementation of this concept